In our previous video, we met with two local Malaysian guys, Mufik and Five, who showed us around some hidden gems just outside of Kuala Lumpur. After driving around the biggest roundabout in the world, our next stop was the modern city of Putrajaya. Right, so we just arrived at this beautiful building. Check this guys, just behind me. Yeah, this is a really, really iconic looking building and the whole area looks so epic. I mean, look around right by this beautiful pink mosque. It doesn't look anywhere as nice with the camera. You actually have to come here for yourself yeah. to actually see it with your own eyes. Everything's so big. I'm about to do some photography for Olivia, get some shots, we get some money shots. We always forget to take photos for Instagram, so we're going to do it right now. We always just end up filming everything instead. So yeah, what is this building, bro? What exactly does it represent? This uh, building for administration. Administration. Uh, uh, administration. Okay. Uh, so, uh, minister do their job here. Okay, like prime minister and yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so that's where all the big decisions uh, happen. Yeah, big for this country. Okay, nice. There's a lot of government buildings in this area, so it's kind of the main area for that yeah. kind of stuff. All right, let's look around. Should we go and check out the mosque? Let's go. Lots of people getting selfies with the Putrajaya sign just here. And just behind there is the famous pink mosque. I think it's called Putra Mosque, which makes sense since we're in Putrajaya. But it looks absolutely beautiful. And remember, if you come into the mosque to do these things, you gotta be respectful. You ready? Yeah, let's, let's do it. So I need to, I need to like cover yeah. my my yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at your video before. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. I look at your video when you are eating burger. Oh, Ramli Burger, nice one, man. Well, guess what? Yeah. You're in the video again. <laughs> right, so we're gonna go cover our legs in here. Hello. Nice. And for me, also because you're on the shot there. Yes, yes. Then. No. Okay. Cover your hair. Cover your hair, basically. Try to get some glass to cover your eyes and become your hair. <laughs> that become like Harry so Potter. Religious. <laughs> so mysterious. Right, you need to cover everything like that. It looks kind of cool. Actually, it looks quite nice. So Mario's got to cover those, cover those legs of his. Cover those fat <laughs> legs. <laughs> Boom. There you are. Okay. You look like you're going to wizarding What's school. Up? You look pretty cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm graduating. Uh, what your channel name? Uh, Travels on toast. Travels on toast. Travels on toast. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Me and Mario. I kind of want to wear this as well. It looks cool. Yeah. What's the other? Yeah, so we're graduating in Hogwarts, apparently. It feels like that. Okay, we're not the only ones wearing this. I'm starting to feel like the only one. No, we're not. I feel like it's a whole tourist experience. This. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cool. It really looks like a like a magician. Look, look from the distance. What do you know about us? It's actually really nice. Like, feel like proper like hashtag culture vibes going on in here. Yeah. Shame on us because it's our first time in a in a mosque. And guess what? It's probably one of the best mosques you can go to, anyways. Yeah. That's pretty cool. First time ever. Yeah. And Let's check it out. This is dangerous. So I'm pretty sure you have to take off shoes. We yeah. kind of know that in in sacred places you always have to take off your shoes, yeah. which is totally cool. In fact, I was in the shoes for quite a while. It's nice to take them off for a bit. A fresh air. Wow. This really looks epic. It generally looks so majestic. Wow, look at the architecture, yes. guys. Like, it looks so beautiful. The window, the architecture, and the ceiling is absolutely next level art. I can't remember the last time I walked on carpet. It feels so nice. Carpet looks fancy as well. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Over here. Yeah, it's nice for a change as well. If you look at all the details in here, there's been so much work to put in here. I mean, look at the walls, all the artwork, the windows. Wow, this is this is so majestic. We're just talking over here about religion and stuff, and Mario's this is behind the scenes travels on toast. Mario's getting the shots. That's money shot, you know what I mean? <laughs> This yeah. is really beautiful. I was just gonna ask uh, my friend, but I can also ask yeah, him maybe. No, so, asking. how old is this place? Built 1997. 97. Oh, I was born. 1999. Okay. 25 years. 1995. The prime minister wanted to have a, a town, a, a city for the administration. Okay. So from Kuala Lumpur, they bring it here to Putrajaya. They built this. 
1995, the Prime Minister brought uh, estate plantation, uh, palm oil plantation. Okay. Uh, he bought 5,000 hectares of land to build Putrajaya. So, 1997, uh, they built the Prime Minister office there, and then uh, they built this mosque. So, he wants a mosque who completed by two years. They promised two years, he's completed two years, they brought in their 15,000 uh, skill stuff to build this Putrajaya, to so, build this mosque. So, is, is everybody welcome to practice the spiritual practices? Yeah, everybody. Everybody, yeah? yeah. We have people from all over the world who come here. Okay. Yeah, we, we call this the Ping Mos. You have a Ping Mos, three <laughs> in the world. One okay. is Malaysia, one is in Spahan, Iran, one is the, in Casablanca. See, we have the picture here, is Spahan. Okay. Yeah, we call a small. Uh, so, which one is the biggest one? So, I guess. This one is the biggest so, one, so yeah. we're in the biggest one. In Malaysia? Biggest pink mosque in the world. Malaysia has many mosques. <laughs> so this yeah. is not the biggest in no. Malaysia? No, okay. this is the, the, the most biggest. expensive and um. nice. Right. Oh, okay. it, looks, it looks amazing, like the artist really put some yes. work in there. Yes, yeah. uh, this man is the architect of this mosque. He goes to over the world, uh, to Arab country, to get the, the idea. Uh, get some inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is Nick Muhammad. Ah, this is the man. See? This is the man himself. Yeah, himself yes. So we just got really, really enlightened here. Uh, got a bunch of uh, uh, flyers. Information. The call of prayer. The lady was really lovely. She explained a lot yeah. to us about mosques and why it's designed the way it is and yeah, how people pray and men and women. It's like separate. inspired from like. Germany and UK, UK yeah. the, the windows, the windows yeah. and stuff like that. So it comes from all around the world, and like they were doing it like really, really specifically. In every detail, making sure everything is exactly how yeah. they want it to be. And it's, I don't know if you heard that she said it's one of the only three pink mosques in the world, which is why it's so popular. And it is the largest pink mosque in the whole world. Yeah, the reason it's pink is the reason I wanted to come. So it is a selling point. It's really beautiful here. Uh, so you have like men and women separately. So yeah, okay. So because we're going in a group, but we notice they have like. Uh, taekwondo happening here as soon as i see that i don't know why i'm just thinking of cobra kai that i'm watching on netflix right now <laughs> we're not getting sponsored by them but uh, yeah it looks pretty cool oh i don't know see ya hold my camera all right let's go and check it so what exactly is this we're just washing yourself up a bit if you're warm a sort of washing before prayer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Because you want to face him God, so you need to be clean. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Right, so I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'm definitely not gonna film this. Yeah, the whole area here looks absolutely epic. You can see like a bit of the river in there. Let's get a little bit closer to this. Just to show you guys. Apparently you can get a river cruise as well. You can go on the cruise. I can see a bunch of people kayaking over there. Yeah, it looks really cool. What are we doing? You know, we eat chicken rice. Chicken rice, yeah. bring it. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. The food has just arrived and it looks absolutely epic. First of all, the awesome boy looks next level, proper big glasses, and then the chicken. Like, so the guys ordered uh, like a steamed chicken. Apparently, it's like the really famous one, and me and Olivia got, went for like the roasted chicken. And I mean, look at these babies. They look so damn good, it's so delicious. So what's, th what's this? What's this white thing? Oh, it's tofu. Oh, nice. I thought it was a dessert. It looks like it a looks dessert, like doesn't yummy. it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Nice. Let's move it to the middle. Boom. <laughs> Let's dig in. We've got some Yun Yunnan chicken. Yeah. Not Hainanese. Yeah. Yunnan. Yunnan. It's just borders right. above Laos and Vietnam. Look at the skin. The skin looks delicious. Mm. It tastes different to Hainanese chicken. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to try this. They smell like smoky. <laughs> Definitely has that smoky flavor. The sauce is different to any of the sauce we've had. It's kind of like. Really? It looks like soy, but it's not. I'm not sure that it right. is just soy. I really, really want to try just to see what it is. Try the sauce. Mmm. Soy sauce. Mm. Is it soy? Yeah. Oh, it tastes different. Yeah. Really good. 
Wow. Next level, guys. Really good. Sauce makes it all better. Yeah, we just put loads of the sauce here. And, and surprisingly, it's not too spicy actually, which is perfect. It looks like it should be really spicy. So everyone can eat it. Yeah. So the tofu, guys, is so damn delicious. Just mix it up here with my with the rice. A bunch of tofu. Wow. You like it? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's saying something you don't usually like to. That's what I mean. It has a flavor like it comes with the sauce. Wow, you're gonna love this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Pretty damn good, man. Chinese restaurants know how to make tofu good. I give them that. We absolutely devoured the whole food in here. Olivia has left a tiny bit of rice, <laughs> but she doesn't eat a lot with her, with her little tiny stomach and the little beak. I haven't big, got big. a Malaysian stomach yet. It's still growing. Yeah. He did a good job. He ate all the uh, chick, 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 chick. chicken. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. I, I, even though I like, finished his last bit of chicken. Thank you so much for bringing that. Yeah. This is really, really cool. So what are we doing next? Uh, Genting Highlands. Genting Highlands. Yeah. A lot of you guys suggested us to go to Genting Highlands. We never had a chance. And boom, we're going just right now. So check this out, it's gonna be pretty damn cool.